Welcome to lesson eight, staffing. So remember when we wanted to get our waste down to a lower percentage? Staffing should be below 30%. So 54% staffing is way too high. We are throwing away money on a surplus of employees. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's go to our Yelp reviews, which here is called Gazette's ratings. What is our overall rating? Five. That's great. That's what we want. Okay, now staffing, 54%, and profit is negative 3,000. Okay, so let's go to actions and staffing. Um, I already talked about this, but you might want to read it as well. Uh, we want to keep our labor costs under 30%, so 54% is way too high. Okay. So let's look at, we've got servers, cooks, and dishwashers. Set the staffing level for all days to two for servers and cooks. I want to say dishwashers, one dishwasher can do like five to 600 dishes per week. So you really don't need three. I'm sorry, not per week, per day. So let's drop it down to one. If you do the college version of this, it'll tell you like how many people one cook can serve, and then you can do a formula to figure out how many cooks you're going to need for how many customers come in each day. And the same thing for servers. Servers can take care of a certain amount of customers. And on the college version, there's also hosts, so you can uh, hire your host, hostess, stand, employees. Okay? Okay, so let's run to January 28th. So a couple weeks ahead. And then let's look at the comments. Let's see what people are complaining about now. If you don't hire enough cooks, so we've only got a couple cooks in there. One seems to be standing around while the other one's cooking. But if you don't hire enough cooks, obviously the food's not going to come out very quickly. And if you don't hire enough servers, you're not going to be able to seat people very quickly because they need someone to serve them. I don't really see any messages going on at all. Oh. That might help. Are we still stuck on the same day? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Every time we move to a new lesson, this thing moves back. Let's push it forward so we can get through this. Still, though, I don't see any comments. So I'm going to say there's no noticeable problems. Ooh, I got that one wrong. Oh, right after I made a guess, huh? <laughs> okay, so they're complaining about weights and long lines. There we go. Alright, so once it's done running forward two weeks, we'll take a look at the staffing and the profit. Dang, look at that line. <clears throat> Sometimes a long line is a sign that it's an amazing restaurant and you it's worth the wait. Sometimes a long line is an indication of poor organization and management and you don't want to go there. So what really matters is the Yelp reviews. That's where you'll see the difference. 4.1 out of 5 is not really that great, so.
so staffing's about 25 percent. Profit's about negative 2400. 2500. All right, and our rating for Yelp is 3.3. Oh, that is terrible. Absolutely awful. Okay, so let's take a look at our staffing. Servers, nine for every day of the week. Ooh, that's a lot of servers. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And let's see. Cooks for six. Six cooks every day of the week. That's very high. And, of course, if you had no servers, the restaurant would close. Okay, let's run to February 11th. Take a look at the comments and messages. I don't see any comments. I'd say there's no major comments. But, probably as soon as I click that, they're going to have some comments, just like last time. <laughs> probably not. There. No major comments. There we go. Okay. Okay, once this completes its run, we can take a look at the food cost. I'm uh, sorry, not food cost. The staffing. And the profit. Staffing is way too high though. 51%. Remember, we want to keep that below 30. Okay, so staffing is 42% and profit is, well, I wouldn't say it's zero, but it's $58. Okay, and then our Gazette rating, did it change? Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good with our ratings. However, we're wasting money. We're not making any money if our staffing is 42%. So, uh, what you notice from, okay, reports. Week part sales. All right. Take a look at how much money we're making each day. Obviously, if we're making almost $8,000 on Saturday, we have a lot more customers on Saturday than we do on Sunday where we're making less than 1000 Okay. So, customers are evenly spread throughout the week. No. More people come to the restaurant on Wednesday and Thursday. No. More people come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? I don't think so. More people come Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yep. Okay, so what does that mean to us? Obviously, we need more staff Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So let's go to staffing. I am just going to play around with the numbers here.
All right, now, once I do this, the comments are gonna tell me if I need more or less employees on those days, okay? But like I said, dishwashers can handle quite a bit. Uh, maybe I'll give them two for Saturday. Okay, so let's run forward a week. Let's see what's going on here. We have several goals to meet here. We want staffing under 30%. We want the profit to be at least 5,000. Okay, I don't see any complaints yet. We are on Thursday, one of our busiest days. So we might have some complaints start pouring in. Ooh, look at those lines. So what is causing Who's this busy and who's not? You know, only one customer's leaving. That's not too bad. If they're waiting at the table, they either need more cooks or more servers. Only one person is complaining. Oh, it's jumping up. Line is too long. Hmm. We did make a really big profit though. Okay, so let's just keep going. Our staffing is down to 19%, which is good. So that means we can hire some more people. Which days were the problem days? Let's see. We have the most complaints on Saturday. They were waiting for a table. Hmm. Okay. So Saturday. I want to say that means we need more servers, so let's give that a shot. Thursday, waiting for a table, 13 people. We're waiting for a table. We look at the tables, why are the tables not being cleared? We only have one little post there. It's for Friday. Hmm. Let's take a look here. I should have three. Where are they? Hmm. Going to add a server here. See if that helps anything. That's only one person. Ooh, 15 people for Thursday. Oh, we're March 2nd now. Okay. is too long. Stopping is at 18%, so that's good. Okay. So Thursday, they were waiting for a table. They're waiting for a table. I would think that means they need more servers. Saturday, what did they say? Waiting for a table, so maybe we need some more on Saturday.
I think if it's taken a long time for the food, the problem would be the cooks. If it's taking a long time for the table, the problem could be the servers. We need more. Or we need more dishwashers because the dishes are not getting cleared and washed quick enough. So let's see if it gets better with the changes we made. Unfortunately, it doesn't reflect until Sunday. Stopping is 20%. This is not moving with the calendar. Okay, so these are better numbers, I think. Thursday, we need for a table. Okay, Saturday. Okay, so we need more cooks for Saturdays. Let's hire on some more cooks. Saturday for four. Let's see if that helps. And also, they're saying there are more orders than I can cook, so we need more cooks. Uh, that's a cook issue as well. That's for Sunday. There's only four people complaining about that, but we have room to hire, so let's get some more people on Sunday for the cooks. Where's Sunday? Over here. Let's see if that helps. So two people are complaining about Tuesday. Okay, so maybe we need more people for Thursday. Friday. Yeah. Okay, so Thursday, we need some more servers. Friday, we need more servers. Okay, looks like our numbers are getting better, so this is good. We still have a low percent for staffing, which is good. We don't want to have not enough staff, but we also don't want to have people just standing around doing nothing. We want them to be productive. We're paying them to work. We still haven't got their food, so we need more cooks for Saturday. Looks like we might need a little bit more servers for Saturday as well. Servers up here. We need another server on Wednesday. We need another cook for Thursday. We have a server for Thursday, maybe. Let's wait and see once it updates on Sunday. Monday looks good. Tuesday looks great. Wednesday looks good. Ah, we don't need to hire anybody more for Thursday. Thursday looks great. It's very important that you pay attention to your customers' complaints and also note how many customers are complaining the same thing. Oh, ordered a long time ago. Okay, so we do need a server and cook for Thursdays. 
Thursday, and another server. And, oops, wrong one. And another cook. Not 43, though. <coughs> okay. Friday, looks like we need more servers. Oh wait, they didn't get their food. Actually, Friday, we don't need more servers. We need more cooks. Saturday, we need more cooks. Sunday looks great. Monday, Tuesday. We need more servers. Looks like we're getting busier days now. Let's take a look at the reports. Week part sales. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is our biggest day, but Tuesdays are busier than the others, just slightly. So, yeah, I guess we could add another server for Tuesday. That should get us to where we need to be, really. Everything else is looking great. So two customers complained. Uh, we need some more servers. That was for Friday. So sure, let's add another server. Server for Friday. So this is basically how you do it. Just keep adjusting until things look good. Okay, so Wednesday may need another cook. Staffing is 21%, which is good. No more complaints on Saturday, which is great. We're only spending less than 5000 a week on staff, so that's good. Ooh, look how high our waist is. What happened here? All right, and we met our goal. Great job, guys.